es Jojo Ma, el mejor chelista del planeta. Le hemos hablado mucho al oído del oyente con la música de Jojo Ma. A veces nos acompaña muy temprano. Este hombre que estudió en Juilliard y en la Universidad de Harvard es hoy el mejor chelista del mundo. Jojo Ma ha grabado más de 90 discos. Tiene en su casa 18 premios Grammy. Ha estado en bandas sonoras de películas. Y creo que no necesita mayor presentación. El virtuosismo. Eso es, un virtuoso. Maestro Jojo Ma, Master Jojo Ma, good morning. Good morning, Julio. What so nice to hear your voice and to be able to to listen a little bit to to your wonderful station. And uh, are you? Where are you in Colombia? Uh, we are calling you from Bogota, and that's uh, my first question. And it's my honor, Maestro. Uh, we are listening. Your coffee is a disaster, and we are the country of the coffee for the world, Colombia. Tell me a little bit that's about why, this coffee. That's right. So that's why we need you to not only send us. Uh, better coffee and because we do know that you have the best coffee in the world and in addition to which we want to make sure that we pay fair market value to the people who are working in the field so that um, so that there is um, you know really good fair trade agreements and um, I think that's something that we all uh, need to work very hard on and I think uh, one place to start is through music because that's something that is uh, ultimately so portable because what if you like it it's yours <laughs> I love it uh I have a curiosity, <laughs> Maestro Jojo Ma, uh, because your parents, I mean, you're French and Chinese, uh, you like more tea or coffee? Ah, it depends what time of the day. I think there's coffee in the morning. I love espressos. I love uh, café con leche. I love all kinds of coffees um i'm drinking right now uh some a kind of ice uh espresso with um with actually with soda water so that it's kind of and and that's um it, it's wonderful i love tea but i also uh, i love tea in um you know iced tea in the summers uh i love different kinds of tea and and i think i, I actually love Uh, coffee and tea in different regions you know um, it, you know sometimes in England it used to be coffee was so bad uh, uh, it tasted like brown water and and this is like 20 30 years ago and so I would infinitely prefer to drink tea also because of uh, of the tradition so I think in Asia uh, sometimes you have very different kinds of teas, very, very incredibly uh, refined uh, teas that, that people who know about tea, you know, say this is incredible. And it is. Uh, it's, it's like for, for some people, it's they can tell the difference, the subtle differences between, uh, let's say, with potatoes or with with certain uh, with corn, for example, you know, fresh corn uh, immediately picked from from the field is unbelievably delicious and but sometimes you can't have that and so so it depends where you are i love tea i love coffee i love uh things that are produced uh with love with care by people who know a much greater consciousness of uh of of the economic inequities in in life and 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 i think there's it's a moment for uh a reset and 
I'm thinking a lot about that and working with people on that. Um, and 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 I'm I'm reminded of my recent trip to Medellin, and where I was able to see from looking at the verniculars, the what has been developed in 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 shortening the commute time uh, for people um, and the the social actions that have been taken, uh, starting with people who started thinking about the museum, the, the science museum, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and that have developed such wonderful ways of looking at human nature and nature. Uh, and so I'm thinking of the creativity that comes from the people in Colombia, in Medellin, uh, during times of great turmoil. And what I hope uh, during this time, and and I'm working and talking with a lot of people to say, well, what, do, what should a reset look like? Um, and a lot of people talk about going back to normal, but I, I don't think you can go back to normal. So what are we going back to? Are we going back to a hopefully constructing uh, with hard work and with hope um, a, a world that we're all proud to live in? Master Jojo, uh, I would like to know why it took 10 years to release uh, this second part of this record and why you decided to go into bluegrass regarding that you have a classical background. Well, I think if you look at uh, the members of the Goat Rodeo uh, group, it's you see that of the four people um, uh, Edgar Meyer, Chris Thiele, Stuart Duncan, and me, and then Aoife O'Donovan, of course, a wonderful singer. But of the four instrumentalists, uh, Edgar has a classical background. Uh, he has written music for, he's written concertos, he's a composer, he's written, uh, so many classical pieces and he plays in the two in Consented Chamber Music Society and he Chris Thiele and I actually in between the two Goat Rodeo recordings we actually made um, a recording of Bach and of many of the Bach famous pieces but also some of the lesser known uh, organ uh, compositions incredibly gorgeous intricate fugues Edgar, Edgar and Chris are great classical musicians as good as they come and um, so so I think I don't think in genres in the way that uh, of course we identify people as you know you come from Colombia I come from this place and I and but actually People also have many identities, and and I think it's the same thing with music. And I think by separating the categories too much, you actually are denying the very DNA of what exists in humanity, uh, which includes uh, separating too much what is in common in music. Maestro Jojoma, it's a great honor to hear you in W Radio. A nice to uh, tea concept and the coffee concept, but what about you, the scotch? Ah, scotch is phenomenal. Uh, scotch is, you know, there's so many different versions. And I think in the same way that um, that scotch that uh, that you can you know you can have so many different types and tastes in coffee. I think uh, for scotch, it's the same thing. Whether you have uh, scotch, the flavors if you are single production, single malts, 
or you have blended scotch. There's so many, it's like wines. It's like uh, olive oil. You have so many different kinds. And I think this is what is so beautiful about what can happen in nature and, uh, and what humans can do with nature if we do it with care and respectfully and with love. Um, I think we, our taste buds um, in, in our mouth, we, have, we can separate millions of different types of taste. That's why food is so important to people. And it's whether it's your mother's recipe or your grandmother's recipe or your wife's recipe or your own recipe or I think the way that we can actually taste subtle differences and talk about it and love it and enjoying it and and this is part of what makes uh, humans I think uh, social beings and because we can appreciate the differences and um, and we can actually search for uh, and, and, and remember uh, these different tastes. So scotch is, although, you know, I used to drink more than, than now, um, uh, it is something that I do enjoy, um, especially with friends who like the same thing. Me quiero despedir de este genio que amablemente acepta estas preguntas un poco extrañas de su vida privada y de sus gustos con una de las versiones más bellas de una pieza que fue tan importante para Ennio Morricone banda sonora de la película La Misión que precisamente se rodó en Colombia Master, thank you very much for your time I want to finish this nice talk with you remember this Gabriel Zaboe from the soundtrack of the Misión We had the opportunity to say hello to Maestro Morricone a few days before he passed away. Oh. And uh, I have a curiosity, a last curiosity. I have a lot of curiosity on you, but this is the last one for today. Uh, did you ever comment with Maestro Morricone about this particular interpretation? Well, I, I, because I recorded all this music with him. I was able to spend a week with him in Rome. And it was one of the most wonderful weeks I ever had in my life. Because here was this man who was so, so devoted to, 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 to music, to his family, to his friends, and he, And, and, and I worked with him with the musicians that he worked with for 30 years. And so it was like being with a very large family. And one of the things he did was that we were having lunch one day and he started talking about music. And he said, music, la musica, it's three things. You know, he looked at me through his glasses and he said, stared at me, he says, it's time, space, and energy. And I was just like, oh my gosh, absolutely. He got to the DNA of music, time, space, energy. And for the Gabriel's oboe, To, from the mission that piece of music is one of my favorite pieces of music and playing it with him uh, I think he loved hearing it in this version and and and, and I think we, we did get along very very well um, I will never forget that and, and and to this day every time I hear this music I think of time Space, energy that transcends the moment, and this is what music can do for all of us. Time, space, energy. I think a master, Ennio, in this moment will be up there very happy listening to you. And uh, Master Jojo Ma, genius, 
Thank you very much for this time. I really enjoy. You made my week. Oh, you're so kind, and I'm so so happy to be able to speak with you. And and I have to say, I also love your country. Um, I have visited a number of times, and each time, I am just amazed at the at the at how the people are so wonderful. Thank you, Master. Have you a good morning wherever you are. Thank you so much. All best bye to bye. you. Take best care. Bye bye. Acompáñenos en el canal de YouTube @julio_sánchez_cristo_oficial.